Welcome to Zen Geometry. This channel is all about creating cool visual art using math. But you don't have to be good at math to appreciate its beauty. I've created Desmos links to help you make your own beautiful designs easily. Let's start with a square. Add evenly spaced points to two sides and connect them in this order. These straight lines form a curve. In math, it is called the envelope of a family of lines. This type of curve is a common element in string art designs. If you add more points, the curve will become smoother. In this particular case, the curve is a piece of hyperbola. Now, add points to the other two sides of the square, and we'll get two sets of lines, or more. These curves are simple yet versatile. Using this basic structure, we can create various interesting patterns. If you like what you see, Please give this video a thumbs up. It'll help this video reach more people. Now, let's take a look at the Desmos links that you can create your own design with. I've added detailed notes to help you understand what each variable does, but you can also just move the slider to see the effect for yourself. To see which set of lines a fold responds to, Simply deselect it. Adjust the colors in the Colors folder. To adjust two sets of lines together, you can set C3 to equal C1 and C4 to equal C2. Move a folder up or down to change the position of the layer. While the math behind this pattern is simple, it took me a few hours to figure out how to animate it, adding one line at a time. Please let me know in the comments whether you want to see more Desmos links like this. You can customize the pattern by selecting color for each piece of lines. To make it easier, I've created another two links for your convenience. Let's move on to the other two patterns. In these links, the process for selecting colors is a bit different. Here, we have four line sets. Let's say you want each line set to use a color range from green to blue, which can be defined with color scheme 2. To do this, open the Select Color folder and set CA, the color for line set A, to be equal to C21, which the first color defined in the color scheme 2 folder. Repeat this for CB, CC, and CD. Next, open the Color Scheme 2 folder and move the sliders. You'll see the selected colors in these little squares. And the color range in this square. I've also created a variable to adjust how the color shifts, in case you want more green or blue. You can rotate all line sets at once, and also adjust the degree of rotation between each set. In the next pattern, there are only two line sets, which you can choose to display individually or together. You can also rotate one of the line sets to see how it affects the overall design. If you prefer fewer petals, you can deselect some of the pieces 
and adjust the rotating angle accordingly. Alternatively, you can simply set a value for the angle if you're comfortable with the math. Have fun exploring these patterns, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on more Desmos links for math art.